everybody welcome to my channel this is leslie with black dog vintage uh, don't mind my hair today um i just got back from the flea market and i had some great luck there um and i would have showed you my thrift with me but as you guys know i've said it in the past it's just impossible to do a thrift with me in my favorite guy's booth because it's always a total mess and today was probably the worst that I've ever seen it. Um, but I love him to pieces and um, I had some great luck with him. Um, I got another piece at another vendor's booth today. Just one piece. That was really great luck. And uh, then I also had a few auction wins come in this morning, or not this morning, over the weekend. Uh, then I also had a call from somebody that... Uh, was selling their aunt's jewelry, I believe it was. Their aunt had passed, passed away and they were liquidating the estate and had a bunch of jewelry. They gave me a call and wanted to know if I would be interested in purchasing the jewelry. So I did, I purchased the jewelry. Um, they did let me pick and choose a little bit. Um, but not not a ton. So uh, I did take um, most everything because they had things grouped up in bags. Um, so it was like I took this bag and that bag and this bag and that bag. Um, so I haven't really looked at things very closely with those pieces. So we're going to look at them together. Um, and I think this Oh, and I did hit a couple of state sales this weekend too. So we're gonna, we've got a lot to look through. Um, so hopefully this video won't be like overly long, but um, I, we'll see. I'm, I'm going to try to make it as quickly, uh, go through it as quick as possible. Um, pretty much everything will be available during my live sale on Thursday. Um, unless you're a channel member and you want to reach out to me for um, you know, if you're interested in any pieces uh, that you might want to buy ahead of time. Um, if you are interested in becoming a channel member, you can always reach out to me. Information is also in the description of the video. Um, channel members have the option to buy things ahead of time. So um, that's always something good. Um, and please look out. There's going to be a clearance video this week since uh, we didn't do a clearance sale. Uh, so I should be doing a clearance video this week. So, uh, let's get right into the haul here. And, uh, don't forget if you like my channel, if you like the things that I offer, uh, don't forget to hit that subscribe. It would mean a ton to me. Um, and, uh, yeah, it's free to subscribe at least. So, all right, let's get right to the jewelry. Thanks. Okay, so I have uh, trays. I have, um, the trays are mostly what came from uh, the estate sales, the auctions. I have my bag from the flea market and my bags from the people that called me. So I'm gonna move some things over. So we have a little bit more room to work. Um, and hopefully that'll be, that'll work better. So, um, just kind of wanted to give you an idea of everything that we had to work with. It's a lot of jewelry, you guys. I mean, it's a lot. <laughs> so, I mean, I, and I still have so much jewelry from the guy that I bought his inventory from. Um, and, you know, a lot of that I don't really know what I'm going to do with because some of it is not stuff that I really want to carry, um, like regularly. So, I mean, cause it's not as high end as I normally want. So, you know, we'll see. Um, I might sell it in lots. I'm not sure. I might, I might trade my flea market guy for some of it, but we'll see. Um, this came in an auction lot. Um, I just thought this was kind of fun to, um, let's see, kind of a, kind of looks a little light in here, but um, look at that. Isn't that pretty? <laughs> it's 
that kind of inlay mother of pearl, but, and then we've got the shell and it's really long, but this is the style where it's going to come up on your shoulder, like uh, off center. And it's going to come up like that. It's so pretty. I love, you know, honestly, I love the style of necklace and I think it's really fun. Isn't that great? I just love this. And um, it's multi-strand. It's only two strands on the one side. And then it goes to th several strands on the other. And oh, it's it's off. That's what happens. It's some of these split off into four strands. So it goes to two to four strands on this side. It's kind of wild. Um, and then it has this style of clasp. So it's kind of, it's definitely like an 80s piece. Isn't that great? I just thought that was kind of fun. So that's one piece. All right, so how am I gonna do this? Let's just, I gotta move. I'm gonna have to move one of these. All right. Okay, so now we've got some other really interesting pieces. So I picked up a couple like Christmas ones. Now I am going to do a Christmas, um, like I'm keeping all the Christmas ones separate, but I'm gonna show you some of these Christmas um, pieces. This one is, I think it's a Jerry's. Yeah, it's a Jerry's piece. Isn't that pretty? Super pretty. Little enamel one. And then I got another enamel piece here. Another little holly enamel piece. This one is not marked, but that one I thought was really pretty. So those two Christmas pieces I thought were really nice. Um, and then let's see here. We have this little brooch, nice little rhinestone brooch. Nice setting in that one. And this one, a little pink. Everybody likes pink. I thought this one was great. Now this one I do it looks like I need to clean it. Oh yeah, look at the smudges on that. You never know how it's gonna come from an auction lot. Nice back on that, you know, open open stones, definitely nice. Just needs to be cleaned. Um, let's see here, a couple pairs of earrings. Let's make sure I have pairs. I thought I had pairs when I set them in here. Um, Hopefully they didn't wander into a different tray. They might have, who knows. Let's set those aside for now. Okay, so this pair of earrings, very pretty. They are, oh, oh we're missing a marker site. Dang. Well, I'm gonna have to set those aside to see if I can repair them. That's too bad, they're Mark Sterling too. Um, I thought these were cute. They oh, they do have major chipping. Darn it. It's in an earring lot, a flower earring lot. Let's see if this one is better. Oh, that's those are pretty. I like those. Not marked, I don't think. Yeah, not marked, but look at those are really cute. I like those. So those are nice little flowers. And a little celluloid with pearls. Those are super cute. Those are really cute, actually. Um, oh, I'm missing. Oh, shoot, I'm missing some of those. Dang. Might not have been as good of a buy as I thought. You know, sometimes when you get things in an auction or in a lot, you can't always see things very well. These are nice little sand dollars. I'm not sure if those came in that little lot of flowers or not, might've. Um, this came, I bought this separately. 
I really love this. Now, it is newer, but it's a Betsy Johnson. Um, but I did a little research on it, and this is um, kind of a rare, rarer piece of Betsy Johnson. It's the it's a picnic necklace. It's the picnic necklace, but it has cherries um, and little flowers. And uh, I love the little spider. <laughs> but of course, you guys know I like bugs. Um, and it's got her little Betsy Johnson hang tag. But isn't that just amazing? It's got a little heart with the um, check design like picnic table check design i love this i love this love this love this necklace look at the spider with the heart and the pink eyes i can love this this is like the best necklace ever um i don't even care if i sell this necklace because i love this necklace so much um but this will be for sale um and it is rare. It is a rare necklace. So I was okay with that one. Um, I did research actually before bidding. Um, then I got some rings and then a little earring lot. So this little earring lot, these are more modern, but um, really pretty. Uh, I don't think these were marked, but this was in a lot with another pair. Uh, these I thought were really cute earrings. Very nice um, post earrings, but these were the ones that I wanted. They're hoops and rhinestones, all different colors, but these are actually Sorelli earrings. And Sorelli is a pretty desirable brand. It's, it is a more uh, modern brand, but it is very vintagey looking and it is very blingy, lots of rhinestones. Um, from that same auction, so this was a different auction. I loved the stuff in this auction. This person had, this Betsy Johnson came from it too. Um, this person had some beautiful pieces. So I got several rings, and actually I do have another necklace on a different tray from there. Um, but some of these rings, I'm going to save the kind of the best for last. Um, this is a ring. It is an adjustable ring. This came from that auction. Um then this ring came from that auction. Not marked. These these ones are not marked. And then this one came from that auction. Um, this one came from that auction. This one is not adjustable. I love this. It is also not marked, surprisingly. Um, it is... I. I love this ring. I like really love this ring. And this ring measures a five and a half. I wish it wasn't so small. Um, it's a five and a half. I think this is absolutely gorgeous. Isn't this just like the best? Oh, so pretty. So pretty. Um, okay, so now my favorites. This one here, it is marked... Um, Poggy. It's P-O-G-G-I. It's hard to read on there, but it's P-O-G-G-I. It's Poggy Paris. Um, and I did research before I bid. Um, very uh, high-end brand. It is a costume ring. It is adjustable. Um, I actually wore it last night. Um, it is so cool. Um, but I, I adore this brand. I love it. I love this ring. Um, then my favorite, <clears throat> my favorite, favorite, favorite ring is this one. And this one is made by Conplot, K-O-N-P-L-O-T-T. -T. Um, and this one I'm like super obsessed with. Um, I'm debating on keeping this one. I don't know. Um, this one is extremely high end. In fact, this one they still have on their website. Um, this one is actually sold out currently on their website. But this, the price of this one is one sixty two fifty on their website. Um, and I am debating on keeping it. I am semi obsessed with it. Um, I love skulls. I love this kind of like funky look. And uh, the blues are, to me, just amazing. And I just, 
I love it. I just absolutely love it. Um, so I'm debating and keeping this one, but I don't know. I mean, <laughs> it is still available on their website, but sold out. So it's kind of desirable, I would imagine. I don't know. I don't know what to do. I'm, I'm not sure what to do, but I do love it. Isn't that cool? So that's all. And then from that same auction, I got a Sorelli necklace. And this is the Sorelli necklace I got. Look at that. So now you can tell like why Sorelli is like so amazing. Isn't that gorgeous? And it's on this brass like rope chain that is adjustable and it's quite adjustable. Um, but it's all open back crystals. And these are basically like a Rivioli crystal. If, I don't know, would that be considered a Rivioli? It, it's pointed on both ends, beautifully cut. I mean, these crystals are like amazing. I'll open back though. Oh, like I'm dying over this, but it is marked Sorelli. I mean, these are extremely high-end pieces, like extremely high-end. And more modern. Um, this one is, which you guys know, like I don't normally do the more modern pieces, but I mean, this does have like kind of a vintage-y feel. And it is, I mean, it's just, the quality is incredible on this. So this at its shortest is about 16 inches. I'm not really counting that dip in the neck there. Um, and then it goes up to, um, it goes up to about 20 inches. You know, I did not count this dip though. Um, but it is, God, it's just incredible. Um, so that is all from one, that's all from one place. Um, well, actually two auctions, from two auctions. Um, I think that's all the auction pieces I have. Yeah, so that's all the auctions. Um, now, I did go to an antique store. And I picked up a couple pieces at an antique store. So at the antique store, I found this brooch. I do believe this is a Juliana. I did not find this on the website. Um, I found very similar ones though to this particular one. Um, I haven't looked in the book yet, but I do think this is a Juliana. Um, it is absolutely stunning. Milk glass and then the black cut glass. Isn't that just absolutely gorgeous? Oh, I'm just in love with this particular piece. So I did find that um, at the, um, I did find this one at the uh, antique store. Um, another piece uh, that I found at the antique store was this and now this is morning jewelry um let me kind of get zoom out a little bit so this is morning jewelry this is i did talk to one of my viewers um she's really very good with this type of um jewelry with morning jewelry with the antique victorian um early pieces uh, this is vulcanite. So I was not aware vulcanite was lightweight. Um, I just assumed vulcanite was heavier. Um, but this is, she gave me a couple tricks to tell if it was vulcanite. And, um, she, it does, like I ran it under warm water. It has a horrendous smell when you ran it under warm water. Um, so it is most likely vulcan. I mean, it is vulcanite. She said that it, if it smells like a, 
burning rubber or something along those lines, then it's vulcanite, and that's definitely how it smelled. Um, it is a molded piece, and it is marked Czechoslav, so Czechoslovakia. Um, it is beautiful. This is just such a pretty piece. Um, there is one link here right there where you can, you know, take it on and off as a necklace. Um, this as a necklace measures um, in the about 15 inch range. There is, um, it does look like there was maybe some kind of damage or something right in this area though. Um, but it is absolutely a stunning piece. It's stunning. Um, and I absolutely love it. Look at how detailed she is. So that was an exciting find. That was a very exciting find. Um, and then two other pieces that I got there that are both uh, antique. And um, this one here is so pretty. It's got this molded early plastic. Um, I don't, I, I haven't looked yet. I haven't decided if that's like a celluloid or what that could be, but that is just an, an early plastic um, brass, brass leaves. This is a uh, C-clasp and there we go, C-clasp. It does have an early mechanism for the hinge. Uh, it is, this, uh, this does want to twist. It's a little bent, the hinge is a little bent, or the pin is a little bent on here, but it can, I can straighten it if I, if I need to, but I thought that was a very pretty piece. Um, then I had this piece and I did not have my loop with me, so I don't I don't know what this says on the back here. And I forgot to look. Oh, let me see. Let me see if I can do it with my loop here. Hmm. can't read it, you guys. What does this say? Boy, I, oh, sterling silver. I think it says sterling silver. Hmm. That may just say sterling silver. Let's just do a quick little test. Scratch a little bit more. I think it's sterling. Mm. So I just drip, drip that right on me. Ouch. You really don't want to drip the solution on your skin, you guys, just so you know. It hurts. Um, I mean, I think that says sterling silver. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. It didn't turn up blue. Maybe I need to retest it. I don't know. That stone is beautiful though, isn't it? This also has a C clasp and a really, really, really early um, mechanism. Possibly it's a less, it might not be like a 925. It could be an 800 or something. I don't know. Super early piece though. I thought that was beautiful. So I picked that up. Those are the three pieces I got at the 
estates or at the antique store. So at the estate sale, I picked up a few pieces. Um, let's look at those. Um, all right. So at the estate sale, I'll just bring these over. I got this one I thought was cute. It's, it is plastic, but it's marked. This is marked West Germany. Um, so I went to one estate sale after uh, I picked up, after I went to the antique store and I picked up the one auction win. Um, and I thought this was really pretty. It's just a great color purple. The beads were awesome. And uh, it is plastic, but you know, I just thought it was awesome, an awesome necklace. And the length was pretty good, I thought. Yeah, the length is about 18 inches to the shortest. And then look at that, that's a fun little cabochon. And it came with matching earrings. And those are marked West Germany also. And I always wanna make sure. And then those are the earrings, aren't those just so cute. I just love those. So that, that I got. And then I got some little AB earrings. Because you can never have too many of those. I got some uh, AB rhinestone earrings that have a screw back. Um, and then some clear rhinestone earrings. These were not marked. Um, these were another pair of clear rhinestone earrings. These the rhinestone earrings were in really nice condition. Um, but these were great earrings. And these were, are they marked? No, they have a C on them. I really thought these were marked. They almost look like it might be like faded or something, but they remind me of a Coro. Coro or a Sarah Coventry. And then that little brooch was cute. I saw a lot of the flowers, so I just figured I'd pick this up. And this is, oh, I didn't realize, Giovanni. I don't know Giovanni. But it's pretty, pretty little flower. Um, a little snowflake, I can put that away in my little Christmas tray. And then I got that little clear brooch, a little star. Thought that was real pretty. And oh, it has a C clasp. Did not notice that. It has a C clasp. Hmm. Real pretty though. Um, these, look at these. Aren't those just sweet. These are little clip dangles. And these are marked. Look at that. Judy Lee. This does not look like any Judy Lee I have ever seen before. And I thought those were kind of awesome. Um, and then I found this Sarah Coventry brooch, which I just had the earrings a couple weeks ago, which I thought was kind of funny. And uh, I thought that was ironic but I now have the brooch that matches. Um, this necklace, I don't normally pick up just plain gold necklaces with pendants like this, but I just love this because, if I can get it open, figure out where I open it from, there we go. Um, it is a perfume pendant, has a little bit of perfume left, and it's marked, uh, I think it's marked Venice or Vonda, Vonda. Mark Vonda, which I'm not familiar with that, but perfume pendants are kind of fun. Um, so yeah, I did that. And then I got, uh, oh, this Christmas tree brooch, nice and blingy. This one was marked no lead or no lead. I'm not sure which one it is. No, no lead, I think it is. And, um, but I liked how blingy it was. It was a little more expensive, but I just thought it was really pretty. And uh, so I grabbed it. I've never heard of no lead or no lead. 
Okay, so I made a mistake with these. Um, isn't this pretty? So, but I made a huge mistake with them. So I got this brooch and earring, matching earring set. Gorgeous, right? The brooch had a has a trombone clasp and was marked sterling or silver. So I was like, sweet. Like I, and then this was, I couldn't read this. So I was like, okay, well, um, I'm just going to grab it because it's old. And I just think that that, I mean, I kind of thought, well, maybe it's celluloid or probably something along those lines, um, bone, celluloid, um, you know, I never thought it could be anything other than that. Um, grab the earrings. Earring was actually, earrings were on a different table. So I w was like, I saw the earrings. I was like, oh, sweet, matching earrings to that brooch. Just grab the earrings. Didn't look at the earrings. Okay. Um, earrings say Japan on the things. <sighs> look at ivory. Very disappointed. So that probably says ivory too. Um, I think maybe these earring backs might have been changed out. Not sure. Um, not sure why these would say Japan. I don't know. But they're ivory. So I'm kind of disappointed. Um, because technically I can't sell them. Um, unless they're 100 years old, but certified as 100 years old. And I, of course, I can't get this certified. So... I don't know. They're beautiful. I mean, I guess I have an ivory brooch and earring set. I don't think the people knew at the estate sale that they were ivory. Um, then I got, and this is probably my favorite find from the weekend. There's two necklaces here, probably my absolute favorites. Check that out. <laughs> Marcasite, beautiful um, Art Nouveau uh, pattern. Let me get these moved out. Actually, let me put these back on the tray and get my other necklace out so I can show you properly because both of these are incredible, incredible necklaces. I'll organize these a little bit better in a bit. Okay. Uh oh, I have to replace a stone. I don't know where that came from. Okay. Um, okay, so here is the necklace. Look at that. Isn't that literally so stunning? So the details are amazing in this. It is marked sterling. And it has this clasp. And I am going to research this to see if it is genuinely old, um, as in, um, like maybe Art Nouveau. It has the Art Nouveau look to it. It is marked sterling as opposed to 925. Um, it is literally just luscious. Um, and I think it's, I mean, I think it's gorgeous. Um, I did some Google image searches, it does match that style, it matches everything, um, but I, you know, I wanna do a little bit more research, but it is marked appropriately. So my YouTube friends, please give me your opinion on this one. I really, I think it might be, but it's, I don't know, I just, I mean, even if not, it's just a beautiful necklace. Um, then I found this one, 
also same estate sale and this is beautiful it has the chrysophase phrase um it this has a spring ring clasp um it has this beautiful like link all the way around also with the um marcasites almost like a heart this one's maybe a little bit more art deco looking and this one is also marked sterling up on top there but i think this one is stunning as well um let me get it all untwisted Yeah, I'm kind of obsessed with these two um, necklaces. And it's just literally, isn't that just like to die for? Look at that. Mm, this green is just yummy. Don't you think? I think it's just yummy. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. And um, these are short, shorter, about 15 inches on the green. I'm pretty sure that probably the, this one is going to be around the same. Maybe not. No, this one, the other one, the plain marcasite one, um, this one is 16 inches. So it's a little bit longer, but gorgeous. Absolutely stunning. So those are... Those are the ones from the estate sale. Um, let's go into what I got at the flea market today before we get into anything else. Um, I got some fun pieces at the flea market. Um, so flea market finds. Um, so I got another one of these bracelets. I, not like I needed it. <laughs> But, because I've already got a whole bunch, but it came in with other things that I can always use. So this came with, this bracelet came with another multi-strand AB crystal necklace. I can't seem to keep these in stock. As soon as I get them, um, I sell them. So I've got another graduated AB necklace. Absolutely beautiful. Um, the length on this one, is going to be um the max it, it'll be is this one is pretty short the max is going to be about 15 uh actually a little bit longer the max of this one's going to be as almost 16 inches we'll say 15 and a half at that shortest length so just a really pretty graduated crystal necklace um, 16 inches at its shortest length, um, or 15 and a half maybe at its shortest length. And then it has the earrings that work with it. Um, and then I did get another necklace that is uh, almost more of like a smoky, uh, style. And this is very short, but I liked the color of these crystals. Um, it's almost like a smoke AB. It has a clear crystal in between. It is a single strand. They are graduated, which is really kind of nice. And this one, the length on it is going to be a max of about 15 and a half as well. I thought it was maybe a little bit shorter, but no, it's not. Um, but so pretty. Isn't that a cool color? I think it's awesome, personally. Um, some of these are on cards. That's a really pretty brooch. Um, we'll pull it off cards. Um, that's the back of it. Very, very pretty gold flower. Um, this is really nice little, almost reminds me of like a Juliana style. Um, not Juliana though, because look at the pin back. But very pretty in like a black diamond novette. Um, oh, this one. This I thought was interesting. I have never seen a necklace like this, but this is a Miriam Haskell. So look at that. It's Miriam Haskell. Oops. Dun, dun, dun. Here we go. Uh, if I can get the thing to show correctly, there we go. Miriam Haskell, the 
um, clip is Miriam Haskell. Now, the it is not a very working latch on this. It's I don't know if there's a way to make this work, but I did grab it. It was gave it to me for a really good deal, but it's just a really long rhinestone, single strand rhinestone necklace. I've never seen anything like this. Um, and I'm not sure the best way to fix this. I mean, I could definitely probably just add a hook right here. So you still have both of these and then I could add a hook. So you could just, or spring ring right there and then you could just like spring ring it and then still have your Miriam Haskell tags. I mean, I could add that easily. Um, but this necklace length, I mean, it's such a wild thing, but this necklace length is, it's 29, it's 29 inches, about 29 inches. So kind of crazy, but it's a Miriam Haskell. Has anybody else seen a Miriam Haskell, just a single strand of rhinestones like that? It's wild. Um, super pretty butterfly. That's the back. I thought this one was really pretty as well. That's the back of that one. This one was really unique. It goes like this. So there's a little cameo in the middle of this one. Never seen a brooch quite like that. Thought that was interesting. And then this one was kind of fun. Um, there was a, another reseller in the booth with me while I was there and she was different. Um, and she's like, oh, you got the brooch that looks like pat leaves. And I'm like, um, I mean, maybe, but that's not what I really thought of when I saw this, but I don't know. Um, are these... Trying to see if these are like stones. Oh, oh there goes Angel. Um, I mean, I, these are some kind of quartz in there. So, but, oh, what do we see here? Oh, it's a Sarah Coventry. Huh, Sarah. It's kind of interesting. I don't think Sarah would be promoting anything bad like that, so. I don't know. She was different. She was very different. Um, this I thought was really pretty, but I like brooches like this. And this one is uh, gold fill, I believe. It's a gold, yeah, 12 karat gold fill. 120 is 12 karat gold fill. Um, and this looked like it could be like maybe a slide also. Very interesting piece but really, I like the blue stones on there. Um, here's another one, it was on a card. Let's get out the card. Um, but I thought this was a fun little butterfly. Oh, it's missing a stone, I didn't notice that. I might be able to add something there. But I just thought this was a cute little, just simple little butterfly, just adorable. And then look at that with the black navettes and the pearls. Super pretty. Not marked, but just really, really a pretty brooch. Really unique. Um, that, okay, this I thought was pretty. This was just sitting there in a box. And then I turned it over and it was marked and it's a stife. Kirk Stife Pewter. So that was, I thought that was pretty cool. It was a Stife. Um, that's a really nice piece, a double ring. Um, so I thought that was a cool one. Here we have a little baby snowflake sort of brooch. That was nice. And look at this pearlescent flower with the pearls in the center. 
That's all enameled, beautiful piece. It's almost like a powder coated enamel, which I thought was kind of cool. Um, this brooch is modern, Un undo this. Um, this brooch is modern, um, but look at the color, so vibrant. So I had to grab it just because of the vibrancy. Um, but look at, I mean, it is modern. You can tell by the back, but isn't that pretty? It's kind of stunning. Uh, here's just a simple little clear brooch. There's the back, you know, all day, every day. I, I like these, you know. Um, and then look at that with the pink. I could not resist this. It's a little baby one, but I could not resist this with the pink. It's so pretty. And the, look at the crystals on that. So nice. So gorgeous. Couldn't resist it. And then look at that one. So pretty. And we have this one with the blue stones. Another really pretty one. Nice 3D effect, little dimension. Looks like I need to clean this one up a little bit. So pretty. Cloisonne bracelet. It's on an, it's on a, um, like a rubber, like a elastic band or something, but it's almost like a champlevé. It's really deep, very nicely done. So pretty. And then look at this antique one. So it's a copper. And then we have a nice old C clasp and then a nice old hinge there. And then a beautiful um, cabochon. And I am probably gonna test this. I don't know if that is coral or if that is glass. Um, am I looking? It's testing as glass on my uh, presidium, but I'm not sure if, you know, if that would be glass or coral. I mean, what coral would test on a presidium for. So set that one aside. Um, I did pick up, there's a pretty little rosary with glass beads, faceted glass beads, pretty little rosary. Pick that up since I've had a lot of call outs for rosaries. This one is engraved, KH. I don't know what the BB is on the top, but very pretty. But I like the glass beads on this one, definitely older. And then this one is, I believe, Bakelite. So I say we test this one. Isn't this great with the rhinestones in there? Definitely Art Deco, cool carvings in it. So let's test this one and see if it's Bakelite. Okay, so I use the Simichrome polish. Um, I try to do as little as possible on a cotton pad and try to do it in a non descript place on the back. I don't know if this is or not. Just dab a little bit on there and then I do believe that we have Bakelite. Oops. Yeah. I do believe we have Bakelite. Got some yellow on there. So that's pretty exciting. That's, you know, one of the tests. You can always rub it under, put it under hot water, see if it, you know, how it smells. So, but you always want to make sure that it is clean. This is a gorgeous piece. So that's pretty exciting. That is pretty exciting. So that is everything from the flea market. So let's go into some of the pieces that we got at the... Um, that I got from the people 
uh, that I bought out the jewelry from. Um, the ants jewelry. Um, so it all came in these little baggies. Everything was basically like bought in as a lot. Um, this is a pretty little set. So this looks like some earrings and a necklace. So some of the pieces I am not positive if there were missing any pieces or any anything on it. Ooh, I like this. It's got the bead caps and they're all individually linked. Ooh, that's, this is a nice little necklace set. I like this one a lot. Um, let's get a measurement on this. So this one and the fact that it's got earrings that match is really nice. Oh, it's little. So we got 14 as the smallest to about 15 and a half. So, oh, it's pretty little. And you can always get an extender for something like this. It's pretty easy to get an extender, but wow, that's that's a nice little set. I like that. I like that set a lot. Um, this is a cool set. Um, it is marked Japan. Um, and it is got like a, a mesh strand and then this beaded gold strand. I thought that was kind of a pretty piece. And then it's got matching earrings. So that's kind of a fun one. Um, and then this is nice and long. And I like the box clasp on it. So we're looking at 22 inches on this. That's a really cool. That's a really cool set. I like that one. It's a great set. Um, you know, I'm really kind of, I'm really kind of over clear rhinestone necklaces and stuff, but I will say I did buy this little set because I really found it really pretty. Um, look at that. It's a really pretty bib necklace and then it had some matching earrings. Those are the earrings. I, I thought they were matching at least. Those are the earrings. And then this is the bib necklace. This is so, so, so pretty. Um, I really like this. Isn't that gorgeous? So pretty. Not marked. It's crazy, but not marked. And this doesn't have very long of an extender. You could probably make it a little bit more, but it does go to almost 16 and a half inches. So it's not a bad length, but look how pretty those crystals are. Really nicely done, nicely made. Not marked though, crazy, crazy. Um, I got give me a bunch of extra stuff but um there was a bag of earrings here um whether or not some of this will go into the sale on thursday i don't know this was kind of a cool monet necklace though silver kind of a box boxy kind of chain D very different but i kind of like that one and this one is And it's long as 16 inches. So definitely a choker, but kind of cool. Um, and then we have just some, you know, general Monet um, earrings. Very 80s. Very, very 80s earrings. So kind of pretty. Um, this was a fun little set. This one is actually marked Laguna. Um, Laguna, if I remember correctly, Laguna was a like lower end version of, I think it was Vendome. 
Um, but these are great little cluster earrings. These are marked Laguna. And uh, this was the necklace. It's a longer necklace. And it's got beautiful AB crystals and then the faux pearls. And this is the clasp, which is missing most of the rhinestones, but you know, it is what it is. But super pretty. But yeah, Laguna was um, part of Vendome. I think it was Vendome. Pretty sure it was Vendome. And this is a 20 inch necklace. So really pretty. And I love the matching earrings. I love that it has the matching earrings with it. Um, this is a really cool Trafari set and in a really nice condition. Um, this is the necklace. It's very 80s. Um, but look at this. Isn't that pretty? It's like very, almost like very Christian Dior too. Um, th these are the earrings. How fun are those? And then this is the necklace. It's just got this little V here. And then it's marked Trafari. And then the earrings are both marked Trafari too. But isn't that cool? I just like those. I think that's a really fun little necklace. And uh, we're looking at about 16 inches on the necklace too. I love the square cut stones too. Oh, so pretty. So, so pretty. Um, here's another Trafari set. This one's older um, and really pretty too. I'm hoping this has all of the stones. I did not really look. Oh, it's just a necklace. Um, but look at that. Isn't that pretty with the pearls? So let's double check. So far, so good. Oh, yay. Okay, good. So this is, this is all good. And it says Trafari on the inside. So super pretty. And probably 1960s, I'd say. And this one is, how long is this? This is probably, dun, dun, dun. it's about, the longest length is probably about, what is it, 16? Yeah, it's about 16 inches. And uh, I really like this one. That's a really nice Trafari necklace. Like, really nice Trafari necklace. Um, oh, I did get a bag of roaches from her. Um, let's see how they look. Let's hopefully, hopefully we have all, um, all stones in place. So we have a little jelly belly fish, super cute. Oh, there's some earrings in here too, I guess. Don't get all out. All right. So that's a pretty one. Oh, no pin back though. Dang it. That's a bummer. And a missing stone. That'll go into craft. I'm actually gonna experiment with some crafting with some jewelry just so I can do something with it. Um, but I might be I might be doing something interesting. That's pretty. So we got a little flower basket. Love that. Looks like that's all intact. Um that's too bad. Broken. Cute little jelly belly owl. Loving that. Some earrings. Here's a little flower. Is that missing a stone? No. Nope, that's all good. Super pretty. Earrings. Earrings. Here's a little enamel flower. That's super pretty. Love that. That's pretty. And oh. oh, we 
we've got an owl missing its belly, but that's going to be easy enough to fix. Um, I'll put him aside. We've got some earrings, cluster earrings. These are marked Japan. Oh, that's a pretty, oh, that's super pretty. Uh, unmarked, but wow, that's really pretty. Okay, so we have these earrings. Those are really nice. Unmarked, I believe. Yep, unmarked. Um, got one nice earring here. Don't know where the other one is. Oh, look at this. This is cute. It's a tele double brooch. It's a telephone. Old time telephone. I'm sure a lot of kids these days won't know what that is, but hey, you know. Um, this is really pretty earring. A little AB. Also unmarked. Super cute. These are some uh, screw backs. Those are nice. These look like bugs to me. Looks like we're missing one tiny little blue stone. I'll put those aside so I can try to fix those. Got some cloisonne flowers. Pretty. This is a little kind of like amethyst, purple, dark amethyst drop. Those are pretty with a screw back. Oh, those are marked. Oh, made in Austria. Nice. I love that. Here's a little kind of like an amethyst or garnet maybe stone. I wonder if that's real. Let's get the presidium out. Sure is. Yep, that's garnet all right. So those are nice, nice little garnet earrings. Um, it does not look like the, um, I don't think that's gold or anything, but I will have to look at that maybe a little bit closer. Um, here is, these do look to be coral. Mm, I don't know about the stones. Nope, stone does not look to be anything. No, stone's just probably CZ or something. But those are pretty. And then we have little cloisonne butterfly earrings. Super pretty. And oh, then I have an Irwin pearl necklace. So if those of you guys who are familiar with Ir Irwin Pearl, Irwin Pearl was big in the 80s. This is just a simple long chain, gold chain necklace. He had beautiful jewelry. Um, lobster claw clasp, Irwin Pearl, just a really long gold chain. I love this type of link. Wow, look how pretty that is. Layer that, That's and it's heavy, 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 heavy. This is a nice one. Nice piece, 28 inches on this. Beautiful, 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 beautiful piece. I love that Roman pearl jewelry. Um, this is another Hong, I've got two more Hong Kong necklaces and then that'll be it for the haul. I told you guys it was a long haul today. Sorry if uh, this video is a little long, but it was a lot, it was a lot, a lot of good stuff. Look at this, it's kind of like a off white with these really pretty AB crystals. Um, it is a plastic bead because, you know, it is a Hong Kong piece, but, you know, it's still beautiful and vintage and uh, does that say Hong Kong? No, it says Japan. I don't know why she had Hong Kong written on the back, but it, Japan, Hong Kong, it's all, be all beautiful stuff. And this is actually almost 16 and a half inches on the shorter length. And, but I love the colors in that. I like the gold with that kind of off-white. 
and these um, these beads are more of a, a yellow AB. So I really like that one. And then the last one, if you are a green lover, I mean, this one is all about spring. This is a great, great, great necklace. Also, is this going to be Hong Kong? Yeah, this one is Hong Kong. Um, but look at this. Look at the colors in this one. Oh my gosh. Colors in this are just awesome. And then look at the box clasp. You almost want to wear the box clasp in the front for this one. Um, Cause look at, it's such a cute little flower. Um, and it's, it is Hong Kong. This is longer, which is nice. Um, let me see. This one is about uh, 18 inches, maybe slightly over. It's almost 20 inches. Um, and it is, just look at this. It Look at this iridescent green. Oh my God, this is such a fun piece. What a fun piece for spring. And you know, it's right around the corner. What a fun piece for St. Patrick's Day. Oh my gosh, that is definitely right around the corner. And you guys, it has matching earrings. So, I mean, if you are going out for St. Patrick's Day, don't hesitate. I mean, talk to me about this now um, because, uh, you know, I can mail this out to you quickly. Um, we'll do this for sure on the next live if it doesn't get scooped up by a channel member. Um, but this is, oh my gosh, this is so adorable. Um, so wow. Yeah. So today is, I think what, March 4th, I think. So we are going to definitely do this on the next live. So, uh, such a fun piece. All right. So that was everything. That was my whole haul. I know it was a lot. Um, I know it was a ton, but, uh, most everything will be on the live, uh, coming up Thursday. Um, if you are a channel member, feel free to reach out to me if you are interested in anything, um, or look into being a channel member as well. Um, message me, go ahead and check out the link in the description. Um, and I hope you guys enjoyed this. I really do. And if you have questions, uh, let me know if you, um, I'd love to know if you, uh, what you liked, <laughs> uh, let me know what your favorite piece was. Put that in the comments below. And if you enjoy my channel, if you enjoy the type of jewelry that I bring to you, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. That would mean the world to me. So, um, I hope to see you soon. I hope to see you on a live. We have a great community and, uh, we'll see you on the next video at least. Love you all. Bye.